Okay, I have a question today. I'm going to answer. This is, this is the day that I answer your questions. If you have a question, please send it to me. Send me an email. If you don't want me to say your name, that's okay. Just say, please don't use my name. Here's the question. What is the difference between these two sentences? Which one works with which one? And which one works which one? Well, grammatically, both sentences are correct. However, the first sentence, is, the first sentence, which one works with which one, uh, in this sentence, work is jidoshi. It's intransitive. In the second sentence, which one works which one, works is transitive or tadoshi. Okay. Now both sentences are correct, but they're a little bit uh, a little bit different. So, um, yeah, they're fine. It really, the nuance is, it's almost the same. Just one is more active. Which one works, uh, which one? Well, you know, I wouldn't say which one works which one just because it's too repetitive. Which one works which one? It's difficult to say too. Which one works which one? But which one works with which one gives you a slight pause. Which one works with which one? Let's look at another example. Do you know how to work this computer? In this sentence, do you know how to work this computer? Work is tadoshi or transitive. Do you know how to operate or use this computer? It's a fairly easy sentence. Do you know how to use this computer? It's a more active sentence, right? Uh, now, in some cases, you just don't need it. For example, the medicine worked. I, I was feeling a little sick. I was a feel, feeling a little under the weather, and I took some medicine, and the medicine worked. Kita, right? Work in here is like kiku, to be effective. Right? Now both of these sentences are fine. Okay. Here are two other uh, works with. Whenever you're using with, by the way, often uh, it's used for tools also. Here's another example. Um, she is a sculptor who works in steel, or she is a sculptor who works with steel. Both are fine, but when you use with, it has a nuance of that's a tool. When you use in, it means steel is a medium. It's your material. She works with silver. With silver means together with silver, using silver like a tool. She works in silver. Silver is her medium, her material. Okay. Now, this student sent me another question. The other question is, all you have to do and all you can do. Okay. Now, all you have to do is for example, if you want to improve your English, all you have to do is study. That's all you have to do. Sore dake. Just study. That's all you have to do. All you can do means you have no other options. Oh, it's a little... It's, the nuance is completely different, first of all. If you want to improve your English, all you have to do is study. It's kind of a, an advice expression. All you have to do is study. If, if you study, if you just study, you will improve. That's all you have to do. When you use all you can do, it means I can't do anything else. Now, you don't have to study, right? You don't. If you don't want to improve your English, you just give up. Just play I don't know, video games or something. You don't have to study. If you want to improve your English, all you have to do is study. It's kind of a solution. See? That's all. When you say all you can do, it means there is nothing else to do. I can't even stop all I can do. Uh, I'll give you a, a better example of that. Um, I was so sad, all I could do was cry. I couldn't do anything except cry. I was... I had no other choice. It was just the only thing I could do because of my feelings. Right? I hope that answers your questions. If you have okay, bad questions, news. Feel free. I just uh, reread the email and apparently, <laughs> apparently, the question is not um, 
Well, the question is, do you need... Well, here's the first sentence. All you have to do is study. According to your Japanese teachers in high school, you were told all you have to do is to study. Uh, all you have to do is to study. They're both okay, but I wouldn't use to study. All you have to do is verb. That's, a, that's fine. All you have to do is verb. You don't need to verb. All you have to do is study. All you have to do is think. All you have to do is to think. No, I wouldn't use that. That's what you learned in high school, apparently, huh? Hmm, Japanese high schools. Uh, here's another one. All you can do is ask. Yeah, now, pre when I answered this question the first time, they are, they're different sentence patterns, anyway. They're, they're, the nuance is different. But on the second sentence, in this case also, all you can do is to ask. All I can do is to ask. Yeah, it's grammatically okay, but it's just not popular. Um, maybe these patterns are old-fashioned that you learned in high school. Or they could be something that is more common in British English. If there are any British people uh, watching this, please go ahead and comment below or send me an email and tell me. But uh, in American English, all you have to do is study is more natural than all you have to do is to study, just not natural. There's, a, there's, a, there's something I want you to think about. Natural English and correct English. There's some, there are some sentences in English that are grammatically correct, but nobody uses them. So they're conversationally wrong, okay? Um, for example, I have a dog is conversationally, conversationally correct. I keep a dog would be very strange for me to say. And if anyone said it, any native speaker said it, I would feel that's strange. I would say, I keep a dog is conversationally wrong. Uh, one more time, the second sentence was, all you can do is ask. All you can do is study. All you can do is think. All you can do is try. I would never say, all you can do is to ask. All you can do is to study. All you can do is to, cry, to try. But it's fine, I just wouldn't use it. Okay, I hope that answers your questions, and uh, I look forward to more questions. Thanks a lot.